Hey everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 9 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 Germany run. Before we get into today's episode, I'd like to ask you to please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at a few things we need to be working on here. Um, one of the main priorities, really, you know, is getting our housing worked out in some of our small coastal cities here. Uh, so, main thing to do that would be building these lighthouses. We also want to kind of explore some of these other areas of the map, get some more information about what's around us. There could be some city states and some other stuff around that we may not know about that could actually be quite useful. So we'll go around the east here and then work our way around. Information is everything. Gonna be there's a small chance there could be, you know, a city state we could utilize that could be very important for us. So it'd be very important to consider that. We do have quite a few alliances. However, one thing that we can consider quite strongly is once we get our production continued, you know, to really grow, uh, we could utilize that as a means for us to really, really be competitive and uh, potentially do military uh, domination if we feel that's an option. And let's see here. We can repair that, of course, and we'll repair that as well. Um, all these farms will help our food production and food growth. Let's get that up and running, and we'll take a look and see. It's back up to four food. Good. Um, what we want to do is have a quick look here at where we're at, respectively. So we're going for natural history, and then working our way into ideology, and then going for communism here, so we can gain a bit more science and also uh, production as well in our cities, cities with governor, that's going to help us as well, make a big difference in the long, in the long term. This will also be very critical, is collectivization, and then defensive motherland, not bad. Um, the support units doesn't really do very much for us, so that's not going to be a major benefit at the moment. What we can consider here is see if there's anything that we can produce here that would make a lot of sense. It's not very much at the moment. You know, it's a fantastic wonder for us to have. Covers a lot of our general needs. If we put down, if we put down another farm here, it helps our food growth. And also allows us to kind of pick up some of the essential things that we'll need in the long term. We have ourselves chemistry coming up in a turn. And we have two spies that we are immediately going to ship to the United States here. And that will work to allow us to pick up some of the information we need. Um, help us kind of catch up to, you know the 467 science per turn once we have access to quite a few research labs in the next 10 turns we'll start to catch up a little bit he's very far ahead and he's already working on the science victory so the spies there will have to focus heavily on that chemists do not usually stutter perfect mountains that okay now once we have that set up first we are going to do some repairs here not for the resource but really for the production the you know, three food for production is fantastic for a tile. Um, make sure that we are working that. We are. And who is that owned by? By Aachen. Okay. So if there's a situation where it makes sense to transfer ownership, we could do that. Stock exchange here. You know, it's going to take some time. We want to grow the population in our capital. Um, so we may actually consider just letting that grow a little bit faster. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take about the same amount of turns for both things, but uh, it'll help us just a small amount. We do have our spies. So what we are going to do is take a look and see where it's going to make sense. So Los Angeles, that's a city we want to do, it. and then we want to do another spy in New York, and then start working our way eastbound. And then the more we do that, the better. With our chemistry being completed. Um, we are going to immediately make a push for rocketry so we can start building our spaceports. Earlier we could do that better. Um, plus our high production cities will have to chop some tiles down and kind of make space for that. But that will be an absolutely critical part of it. Sure. Um, never hurts to have extra gold income, so... Plus I've got Diplo Favor that I'm not really too worried about. Good. So our university is done. That's going to take too long. So what I want to do is actually consider places um, of interest that we can develop in this city. So something that we can put right there that would make sense. Uh, plus one in Theater Square could help us. You know, that'll catch us up. 
If we can actually get our culture to be quite a bit further ahead of the United States here, um, his science may be really far ahead, but we can use our culture to kind of boost us up. So let's focus on that. It's better to buy the research lab. This takes too long and this would take 12 turns. Let's focus growth here, bring that down to 11. Uh, in Munster, uh, we are going to set up here. We have some pretty strong units here with very nice combat strength to work with. Um, nothing close to what you know the United States has, but again, definitely useful. Have ourselves a mine here, and what we're going to do is continue putting more of these farms around here because the purpose of getting you know the faith science generation and then getting really well boosted food will help us just kind of you know kind of take care of a nice little group of yields and that will make a difference in the long term um there honestly um yeah i could build a farm but i would actually rather see if i can build something for production at the moment and then let's keep working our way inland Perfect, another cultural city-state. That is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, Vilnius, Vilnius, highest active alliance level. All your 30 square districts receive 50% adjacency bonus. Uh, not a bad thing to have. Um, can be useful for us, but not really a, a major concern. Um, we want to get there so that way we can chop that. That'll help our population in the city as well. Um, one thing that we do want to be careful about is the science victory right here. He is flying through that. And then the religion victory. Science victory is more of the eminent threat. That's why we are trying to get, you know, set up here and get those uh, get those spies there, because they're gonna be our main hope of actually competing against him for that. I feel like at the moment, Harbor Master and that. And then uh, contractor could be useful. I like to go for this, and then we can eventually go for the production increase towards space programs in the city. That will be helpful. Since we did get that wonder, we are going to be getting some nice things from that, so that'll make a difference to us in the long term. What we do want to consider is getting ourselves set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so we do want to consider getting ourselves set up with intelligence agency. And then focusing production. Uh, we need to get that done. Every every turn counts for this. Every turn counts for this. We need the min max for that because getting another spy will help. And then all of our spies having a higher chances of a success will be absolutely critical for us to survive this late game. Um, let's see here. We can actually go back here. We'll wrap around here. And then we will start working our way inland and see if there's another city state or so may not be at this point but could be useful to just kind of get some information uh, we did go to our research lab so we, we what we are going to do is because we have a fully developed hansa here um with our coal power plant we do want to eventually get to a point where we have some better power as well so it'll be very important once we have rocketry to go into this it's going to take a hot minute, but it'll be really important for us to get that kind of taken care of. Otherwise, we're just not going to be competitive in the final game. Um, we did get a research lab done, so we can work on this. We do have power as well, so we could focus this. That'll give us a nice little boost to our income. That's going to be an idea that we could focus on. We can't make another spy yet, which is no problem, but it's just something we're going to need to consider. Um... Traders could be very, very helpful. So in the meantime, while some of these cities don't have very much else to be doing, we can work on that. Monster got done with the lighthouse. Perfect. Uh, so that's going to do a lot of things for us. Not only is it boosting that tile even further, but it's boosting a lot of these other tiles and giving them additional value, which is kind of what we're looking for. Um, and then we are going to... to actually, we're going to hold off on purchasing that. But what we will do is we will, that's 15 turns, that's going to take some time. We get that going, that'll help. 
and overall growth will continue to get better. I'm not going to need a Hanzo since there's one right here, so it's that's, that's going to be a little redundant in this case. Although it is nice and you can build it faster, it just doesn't make sense right now. Let's actually go for this. And then we will head here, work on the amenity. Getting the luxury resource tile will help us. So, things like this, you know, useful, but we want to see what else we can learn about the area. Once it gets to New York, it'll open up some of our vision. So, um, let's look around us and see if we go, what's a fourth there? If we go to there, um, we can get some more information. And then we are actually going to get to work on this. Um, as we get more of these envoys, you know, there was a possibility I could have gone straight through Omani and picked up Puppeteer and then gone for Geneva. That could have been an option. Um, not too worried about it. I think we'll be okay, but we have to keep pushing though for the science setup. So because Aachen is done with that, not really, religion doesn't make sense. I would actually kind of rather go for reserves, not going to make sense. Diplomatic order could be helpful. Um, that would actually give us some additional envoys. Give us one envoy, could help us. Plus, uh, having the diplomatic order would kind of help cover some of our needs as well. Give us some boosts in different various um, things that we are going to be working on. So we're okay there. Frankfurt got done with the research lab, so we are up to 300 signs per turn. We are starting to make headway towards him, but he's still very, very far ahead. Um, so it's going to be a lot of work for us to be able to win this game. We have to sabotage uh, Teddy as much as possible in order to kind of come back here. Now that we do have this done, um, we have power. Again, really important that we do have power. Um, we are going to need housing, and so a neighborhood is actually going to be quite a nice concept for us. The problem is there is nowhere that's going to actually be decent for us to build one. So we're going to have to work with the sewer for now. Let's set up towards that. Right now we're in the modern era. He's well into the atomic era. So you have to be careful here. Could set up a couple more cities. Really, I mean, at the moment, I don't feel like it's a priority. I'm not really, I'll leave those tacks there, but they're not really important. Our military is when they are preparing for. Okay. Got mobilization, so that's good. So we have the means to make armies. Uh, diplomatic order got done, and we are immediately going to set up for a consulate. Um, influence points will help us. Did get ourselves one of these, and we will take them directly into Geneva. That way, kind of boost her up a little bit more. Keep working up on that. The more that we get, you know, and the closer we get to kind of passing him, the better. Uh, we need to pass the United States here in with Geneva. That way we can gain control of that because it'll boost our science output overall by a pretty nice margin. 15% more science is really, really helpful for us. And he's at war, so he's not gaining anything from it. He's actually losing out from it. So our focus needs to be on this. And then once we have that completed, then we can focus on voids towards other things. That being said, let's push eastbound. And then mines, uh, we will, let's see here. First, we will buy a research lab, further boosting our science. Um, then we will actually work on that instead. Uh, Fairman got done with the campus, perfect. So we can get started on that. We are immediately going to focus on this, really get our housing situation sorted out in that city. And in the meantime, let's actually buy a granary. And then 
Actually, we'll buy the lighthouse and we'll work the granary. And that'll cover our needs for the time being in the city, helping us to kind of have more food growth and we're not worried about housing pressure. Hmm. Appeal to any tiles that are owned. We'll actually take that because if the U.S. takes that, his appeal bonuses actually are going to boost his yield potential. So it makes more sense for us to kind of hoard that and kind of keep that away from him. Uh, we don't have many cities that we can actually like really work appeal. So it's not like a very practical thing for us at the moment, but can be something that could be, you know, utilized. Uh, just not at the moment. Um, plus, we just don't have many cities that have really high appeal potential. You know, most of these areas all have really low appeal. So we're not going to be really able to gain any real tempo out of that. So, but I'd rather take it than let him take that as well. Has one more charge. And we are picking up aluminum. Not, not bad. Try not to get a lot of Aeroscore right now, but unfortunately, like we are so far ahead in that regard that, you know, we're actually doing pretty well there. Um, that would give us nine culture. Actually, let's do that. Keep boosting ahead of him. He's back down to 430 science per turn. He got done with that. He has to research in nanotech, and nanotech is quite a bit further. It's right here on this corner here. So, you know, Teddy is right around here at this stage. And he went down this route, so he's got to work on some other stuff here. It'll take him another six to seven turns to get to that point. Um, but, you know, we are starting to catch up a little by little, so that's perfect. We are going to be able to work on that. And then, as we continue to grow with our city-state count, um, or our envoy count, rather, we'll be competitive there. So, broadcast center, and then broadcast center, we'll go that into chancery. Picking up more envoys, potentially, in the game. That will help us for sure. Um, this would be very useful for us. A lot of our cities would just pick up a free building, so that definitely could be nice for us. Um, Hansa got done there. Perfect. It's nice to have the Hansa there. Let us now actually go for the campus. Delete that. And then what we can also do is we can get our commercial hub here. Uh, yes, that's a really good value commercial hub, but I'd rather put it here. This would help our production, and the production is going to be more of a critical thing for us at this stage of the game. There's a lot more that can be gained from that. So we have the campus positioned, but now we need to work on the commercial hub. Okay, we got another spy available. We are going to take them into Baltimore. Do the same thing, and we're going to work on some different things while one of the other spies will continue and set up for the things that we need. Uh, Lubeck to say Jerusalem. Then Shingeti got another thing done. Perfect. And it's doing a good job of producing traders for us en masse. The more traders that we have, the better. And now it's time that we start working on traders for you know economic growth we have about just under 300 per turn let's since we have two available we'll go into that and then into that we'll pick this up and then what we'll do is we will work on either that or we will eventually convert into um, a different setup that we could use. Accumulate less war wariness, not a problem. Once we get ideology, our game will level up a good bit, though. We will be in a much better position at that point. Not worried about neighborhoods. I think really what would be more critical is we start really getting a lot more builders. So we can consider doing that. Get a builder. We go two builders and then do industrial zone logistics. We'll start off with industrial zone logistics, kind of help kind of carry that little uh, bit of power load 
keep us positive since we're going to be at 380 science. We're already like really starting to properly catch up. You know, Brazil is also another competitor of ours, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But uh, we should be able to maintain a lead ahead of them, so we'll be A-OK -okay there. Let us take the shipyard. That will help our overall potential here. And then we can set up with a trader. Um, I, I personally feel that it would make a lot of sense to continue boosting our culture output. And then here in Heidelberg, since we did get done with that, and we do have power, um, it's really, really nice for us as well. Plus two would be pretty positive. Another commercial hub would be even better, because that would boost the Hansa setup that we have here, giving that an additional plus two production on top of that, and also boost the... Uh, boost the potential setup that we have here. You know, I could put another district here and really fill in the gaps. Mega Colossal lost two population. That's not good. Fertilized tiles. Have failed in our... Monster, let us go for gold output. Uh, Venice is 21. Three science, that's actually not bad. We'll take that. That'll boost us in the ways that we want. So Washington has a spaceport. Good to know. St. Louis has a spaceport. Good to know. Baltimore. Uh, we are going to be working on our setup overall. Um, and once we have that, we're going to be in a better position. Because I have a feeling he's got a spaceport down here. Owned by Philadelphia, so he's got another city right here. So there's there's a lot of information that we're starting to pick up on that's going to be helpful for us. Major drought. Luckily that's in mostly industrial tiles, so it's not really going to negatively impact us very badly. There's Philadelphia. And another science city state. That's critical. That's very, very critical. Of course, Teddy is the suzerain of that by a really large margin. We are going to need to take control of that. So that's another city-state. So if we can min-max towards city-states with envoys, you know, we could finish up Geneva and then focus on Hatusa. We can take control here. He's been getting tons of these bonuses from science here. That's why he's so far ahead. He ballooned out of control because no one else is really competing with him. Um, because Montezuma here was pretty small. And he wasn't going to do pretty much anything against him, so that worked out very much in his favor. Um, in city here, since we did get a lighthouse done, actually head back to that position here. Uh, since we did get done with the lighthouse, we are going to have some nice food growth here, as we can see. Some nice tiles to work off of. Um, that will help us in the long term as well. What we can do is we can swap tiles if we want to pick that one up. And keep that otherwise not a big deal uh, what we will do is continue working up our gold so we can get you know research lab going um reason that we want to do that and potentially consider that it's a long-term option not worried about loyalty at all and the reason for that is that, that way um we can actually develop you know a couple of these hansas and you know put a hansa in the center here and then really get that developed heavily So like say like a Hansa here, get that up and running. We now have the ability to rocket science has been mythology. Good. This is absolutely critical for us to be able to kind of pick up the uh, potential win here. We're going to do this so that way we discover all the tiles in the area, and then we are going to ship ourselves back east. And then get more information and then head northwest afterwards. Um, first things first that we need to do as a major priority, no matter what we do, we need to look at where we can build spaceports. So we have a potential spaceport right here. That's a good option here. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a builder, ship the builder up here. That way we could chop that. And that's going to take a few turns. Good. Um, Let's see, Aachen, we have the means to set up a spaceport as well. Uh, anywhere that we can build a spaceport that's going to not impact negatively these areas, I would like to do. We'll chop that. 
So let's actually put that down there. Close it up. And then, honestly, I actually would rather us get started on that now. And then let's focus that. Let's bring that down a couple turns if we can help it. The city has lots of production, and that will only get better once we have better uh, power plants as well. Yeah, this is the only compatible location. So we can definitely for sure build two spaceports, so no problem. Uh, we do not have any other cities that have high enough production for me to feel comfortable di like uh, divesting a lot of resources into it. Um, this one doesn't really have any any proper uh, flatland tiles in the area. All of these tiles are all occupied, so not a problem. It's just uh, having two spaceports, we can make that work for sure. And we could always build another one around here, but that's not going to do a lot for us at the moment. If anything, it would be to act as filler for you know another district potentially. So our alliance. Is Rocks in my path, I keep them. Good. So we are getting some civic boosts. We got venture politics and suffrage. Perfect. So we got ourselves a couple things that will help us. Venture politics, late game right here. So actually we'll play well into our hands, but... Um, only downside to that particular one is I would rather go for something that's going to help us here. So like power in all cities and production towards city projects will be more of a critical end game setup. Um, I'm not worried about tourism. Getting power in all of my cities means then I can boost that up and then production towards all city projects is more of a useful thing. So that's where we can start to come back against Teddy. Um, yes, we will definitely take that for sure. Um, we are going to gain sources first. We will head here. Telecommunications, satellites, robotics. So let's take a look here. So this upper tree here, that'll help because the late game stuff at the end here will be the, you know, will be boosted a good bit and this will help. So. Those will all make a difference for us. Perfect. That's very, very good. At the moment, I have to say, everyone, thank you again for all the support. You know, the these videos I've seen, you know, that we are starting to pick up some viewage, and I'm really grateful that people have been not only commenting, but sending likes and really giving good feedback on the channel. I'm very, very excited about, you know, the long-term growth of the channel. We are picking up in ways that are really exciting. You know, it will take its time. You know, again, it's a small channel. Again, thank you so much for everyone that's also subscribed. With that being said, I want to thank you all for your time. Um, this has been a really, really fun project. I'm really, really quite enjoying this. But thank you all so much, really. I cannot thank you enough. This is the best and coolest thing in the world. Hope you all have a good day, evening, night, wherever in the world you are. I hope you'll have a good one. Speedy man out.